Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back to uh, Python tutorial 1 of the course time dependent quantum chemistry. In this uh, modules, uh, sorry, in this uh, tutorials, Python tutorials, we are going over different techniques for scientific computing and slowly we are nudging ourselves to the uh, computation we require to uh, explore uh, time dependent quantum chemistry. So far we have gone over simple computation, different techniques of computation, uh, simple arithmetic computation, then we have checked how to use different mathematical functions in, in, in Python and uh, uh, in this session we will go over uh, simple graphing tools how to create, uh, 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 how to plot a mathematical function uh, for our visual inspection. So, uh, the, the procedure is following, previously we have seen that how to create a list and that list can be uh, used as x axis which is like we had 10, 20, 30 like this way we prepared the list and this list was prepared uh, using Python built-in list functionality as well as the list was prepared previously with arrange functionality uh, taken imported uh, after importing uh, arrange functionality from SciPy. We will use arrange functionality, this is very powerful functionality because this gives me an array, array is a matrix, we will discuss it later but for the time being we will consider it as a list of uh, numbers we are getting. So first thing what you have to do to prepare a graph is that to create the list of x values using arrange functionality of SciPy, that is the first thing we have to do. So we prepare the x axis value first and all the numbers in the x axis value should be given. Then the y function value for each x value will be prepared. Thereafter, we have to plot the function using plot functionality of matplotlibrary pyplot. This is another module which will be using for plotting uh, purpose matplotlibrary dot pi plot. This is the module which we will be using. In this module there is a functionality called, there is a functionality called plot functionality and we will be using this plot functionality. In the same module we have another functionality to display the plot using show. Without this show functionality uh, we will not be able to display the uh, graph. So, these are the following steps, uh, these are the steps we have to follow and let us look at the, our task is to plot a sine function over the range 0 to 5. So, let us look at how to uh, do that. We will be first importing the libraries which are required right now from SciPy import sine function because sine function will be plotting then comma a range these are the two functionalities which will be imported from scipy 
then from mat plot library dot pi plot this is another module for plotting graphing in python import plot and show these are the two functionalities which will be imported so first thing we are doing is importing required functionalities importing required functionalities. We have given this instruction with a hash sign. So, it will not be executed when you are running the program. Now, we will be creating x values or x grid in computation in computational language it is also called grid we will discuss this grid later. So, we are creating the x values now and note how I am writing the instruction for my own benefit for future reading and for anybody who can easily go through the program. I can give space here to separate each uh, section. So, now I am going to define x value x equals a range and I am going to prepare a starting from 0 ending up to point, uh, 5, 5.0 and then step size I am taking considering point 0.1. This is the x value. So, it will create a uh, list of uh, x values. Then I am going to create y values and this is simply if I write down y equals sine of x. If I do that then x is a list. Similarly, y will be a list of the sign value corresponding to each x value. So, it will automatically do that. For each one I do not need to prepare y list is prepared directly. So, sign can sign functionality can accept the list as a variable. Then I am plotting x y function Note that we are using capital letter, you can also use small letter, but if you are using capital letter use capital always otherwise you will get syntax error. And then after plotting we have to display, displaying x y function. It will show up all the curves I am plotting. So, now I am going to run this program. If I run the program immediately I get back the sign function which is starting from 0 ending not to 5, but the previous point in the list and the previous point is going to be 4.9. 5 here will be excluded as I mentioned that if you use arrange, arrange um, uh, functionality from scipy it will not take the end point in the list. So, I, I, I have been able to plot it one can save the data uh, save the plot um, accordingly. So, this is the technique to uh, plot the sign function, but if you look at the plot the plot itself requires lot of editing. Editing requires because uh, we would like to place a title in this plot we would like to place one um, uh, x axis, y axis then we, we would like to name it and we would like to change the font size. There are many editing which is required right now and the editings can be also done 
and for each editing I have to import the functionality. So, as you can remember that from matplot library pyplot module sub module I have previously imported plot and show functionalities. Now, I am going to plot, uh, import x label, y label, tick parameters and title all this needs to be imported. And remaining part is the same is just the uh, formatting part is here. So, if we look at plotting x y function with required formatting of the line. So, the line formatting so, if I have one graph and if I have a plot like this then this is going to be this is called plot. What I am plotting the curve and for that I need x and y value previously we have given x y value plot x y this time we are going to specify the color of the plot, line style of the plot. There are many line styles which can be used uh, for this and line width also I am going to define. What is the width of this line? That also I am going to define. So, this is called plot and different formattings are given here. One can change these numbers, line style and color of the plot. Now, going back to the formatting the graph, x level, what I am writing here, this is called x level. And in the x level, within quote, I will write down the string which will be written here and associated font size. That is the way x level will be defined. y level will be defined like this way here y level. Similarly, I have a text specifying the y level and font. These are the x level and y level tick parameters tick parameters what are what are they there are ticks which will be used here to show the and this can be some value let us say 0 then this is probably 1 this will be 2 like this way, this is just an example and in the tick parameters, so these are tick parameters, in the tick parameters what we have written direction equals in, it means that these lines, tick lines will be inside the graph. If it is out then it would be like this. This is going to be out direction and what we have shown here is in direction. Then this whole part left right all these are shown to show the tick in every direction bottom, top, side, every direction. Then the width, width is how wide each tick lines would be that is the width. Length how long is going to be each tick that is the length and label size this size of the label. So, it would be bigger if we increase the label size. Then title, title comes here 
and within title again I have quoted string which will be written and font size and location where it is. So, these are the um, formats we are going to use. Let us look at the laptop and change the formatting. So, I have x and y values then first we will be formatting the plot. Plot will be formatted by different color, color equals red, then line style equals line width equals 3. So, these are the formatting for the plot. Then we have some other formatting x level. In the x level we have we have to write x that is the string which will show up and font size equals 15. One can change it according to the convenience. Similarly, we will use y label as sign x font size 15 and then tick parameter tick param tick parameters direction equals in bottom equals boolean top left and right with length equals. So, I have selected these numbers because I know this is convenient for me, but this is the same numbers may not be convenient for others. You can change these numbers and then finally, title. Title again one string with a font size 15 and location left. So, now I rerun the program and I have an error because why I am getting error because all these functionalities which I have used y level, x level, tick parameters, then title none of this has been imported from matplot library pipe plot sub module. So, we have to import it x level y level tick params title. So, we have now imported tick params title tick params y level 
next level yeah so now we have everything as you can see the title look location has been selected to be left for the title and it is showing up on the left hand side you can keep it in the center as well on the right hand side so, but title will be placed here then tick parameters as you can see tick parameters are conveniently selected size of the these values 0 1 2 are conveniently selected they are inward direction then x level y level has been selected and this um, this is a plot which can be used for publication so these are the parameters which we use all the time um, in this this is a summary of what we have just mentioned uh, so far the plot style has been controlled by these parameters then x level has been controlled by these parameters then tick parameters has been controlled by this and the y level has been controlled by this title has been controlled by this so give some time take a look at it there are so many information given um, uh, today in the entire tutorial and uh, my suggestion is that take your time go through each uh, the functionality which has been introduced to them uh, in this module and try to solve some simple equation um, for an example you can convert EV or atomic unit to EV uh, using the program or you can plot a Gaussian function um, with the help of this matplot library that can be easily done we have come to the end of this session in this session um, in this uh, python tutorial session what we have learned we have learned um, how to install python then how to run a python program and uh, uh, we have gone over simple computation arithmetic computation then using mathematical expression and finally we have gone over how one technique we have learned how to plot graph there are many techniques which can be uh, used in python but we have used one technique right now and which can be commonly used in plotting one graph we will end this session and we will meet again